Okay, today we're going to go over the different adapters that are available for the E-Fin. Uh, this is your electric motorized fin right here. You got your, your prop and motor molded into a 10 inch standard fin. Uh, just like a fin that you'll find on most long boards or paddle boards. Uh, just a regular fin where you have a square nut and a little bolt on the front side of it. And a little metal pin at the back side of it there. That's exactly what this uh, E-Fin uh, looks like. Uh, so that goes into a standard fin box. Most hardboards will have a fin box that accommodates this, uh, but a lot of the inflatables have a few different ones, which is typically what you're going to need an adapter for. Uh, just a few things to note on the fin. Um, these square nuts are, are, are pretty standard with the bolts, but there are some varying thicknesses that we've seen in the bolts as well as links and some different head types. This little pin right here on most of these plastic fins can be pushed through. So if you actually take a hard surface, you can see as I press, it comes through on the other side. So that's one thing you want to make sure that that is lined up and evenly through on both sides so that it will fit inside of the channel of your fin box or adapter. Now, one thing to check on your E-Fin, the fiberglass and carbon fins, sometimes those are, are, are glued in and they'll stay in place. But this is your standard fin box. Uh, we have a link on our website where you could order uh, some of these. If you have an inflatable, sometimes it's easiest just to get one of these and just glue it right in front of your existing fin box. If you have a different type, uh, that makes it a standard fin box and you can mount your E-Fin right in front of your regular fin uh, and then not have to get any adapters or anything. But a little bit more work, a little bit more expensive. Another way to go is one of our adapters. So we have four different types of adapters and we have them in two different materials. Uh, these three here are an ABS plastic. They're actually made from an injection uh, mold. Uh, so they're going to be a lot stronger, a lot more heat resistance, and just uh, a lot more durable uh, than these other ones. These are 3D printed from PLA plastic. PLA plastic has a lower uh, thermal rating, so they it can get hot and melt or warp a lot easier. Uh, you can also see it's 3D printed, um, so you can see kind of little ridges from the 3D printing machine <clears throat> and some of the just cutaways there. When these things come off of the machines, all the overhangs have a support structure. Uh, so it comes out printed more like this. You can see all this support structure in here all has to be cut and clipped away. Same inside we have, um, let me get a little bit closer if you can see. Inside where that channel goes, there is a support structure. So we actually have to go in uh, with some snips and clip and pull out that support structure uh, like this. Uh, so we have to do that to all these 3D printed um, adapters here. <clears throat> uh, these are great because they're a little bit lower cost. Um, just don't leave them in the sun or in your car where they can get a little hot and soft. Uh, but if you need to manipulate it, say you got a little edge that's sticking out, it's very easy to sand or even apply a, a lighter or heat gun and you can kind of uh, soften it up a little bit to kind of push or, or, or reshape or round out an edge that might have a little edge to it. Uh, but these are the 3D printed adapters. Uh, again, a little bit lower cost, uh, but not as durable or strong. Uh, we have seen them where somebody's riding and they hit the bottom. Uh, you can crack the plastic a lot easier than the, the PLA plastic ones. So you want to be careful for the bottom. You don't want to leave your fin sitting in, uh, especially sideways, or leave it sitting in the board. Just the weight of this motor itself uh, on this adapter sitting in your board puts a lot of stress right there and it can... Uh, crack something like along here or, or along the bottom. Uh, these adapters, we, we've modified them over the past year and a half. Uh, they take about 12 and a half hours to print on our machine, our 3D printer, uh, but we've started making them a lot denser than the original model, so a lot stronger than they used to be, still not as strong as the, the molded uh, ABS plastic. Uh, we have four different types. This is your standard slide-in uh, fin adapter. So if you have a fin that looks like this on your paddleboard, uh, it's kind of got this T-shape, or this slides into your fin box. And then you have this little clip that goes through right here to secure it uh, into the fin box. You basically would take your adapter and slide that into the fin box. And then you have a little clip. Uh, this little clip, you want to put it in on the logo side. So that'll go in right there like that. And just slide in and clip just like the, the one on the, the fin would do. So that stays in your board, and now it turns that slide-in adapter into a standard fin box that you can then mount your uh, electric fin. To mount your fin in, you just insert it right in here into your fin box, line it up so that pin is inside the channel there, and then slide it back. Sometimes some light tapping uh, you have to do 
it's made to fit pretty tight in there and then this slides down in uh, before you do that you're going to want to put your square nut uh, inside your channel here just like you would any standard fin uh, on a long board or paddle board slide that square nut up there and then when you lower it down you'll want to line up the bolt into the square nut and tighten it so that secures your uh, e-fin into the adapter and then your adapter to your board so that's how they go in to all the different adapter types and i'll show you the different adapters that's our standard slide in which you're going to find on most inflatable paddle boards we also have the kayak or canoe or strap on adapter uh, it's basically got two slots here where you'll put a strap. You can use the cinch straps that you use to tie down your paddle board to the roof of your car. Um, you can order some on our website. Uh, you can get them on Amazon, eBay for uh, five, ten bucks as well. But two cinch straps that go right through here, and these are going to wrap around the body of your board, kayak, or canoe. Uh, note that it does have a slightly curved bottom, so this is made for a kayak or canoe that's going to have a slight uh, curve on the bottom. You can put on a flat surface like a paddle board, but what we've seen is that they, um, even with the straps pulled tight when they're, they're coming out flat like this, there's a little bit of wiggle room where it can move around. We've had customers that have put a pool noodle or some other uh, padding in there so that it has something to bite against and press against to keep it nice and straight in that straight down orientation. But again, this is really ideal uh, for a canoe or, or kayak or if you don't have any other uh, uh, fin type that will work. Uh, this is kind of your last resort. Uh, the next type is the flip lock. So this has kind of a, a large pin here. This is, you see on some of the older uh, iRocker uh, and Nautica uh, boards, they have this type of uh, fin system. So this fits down in and then it just presses back and then there's a little clip right here that locks into this. So that's the adapter for the flip lock type of uh, fin boxes you see on some boards. Uh, this is a reverse fin uh, board uh, or uh, adapter here. So some of the older inflatables, we don't see them as much anymore, but they had a fin that was essentially looked like this, except for this bolt and nut is back here on the reverse side or the back side underneath the, the arch part. So if you got another bolt back here, sometimes it's just a little screw twist with a plastic head on it. Uh, right back here then you need this type of adapter this is a newer prototype um, we actually had a customer design this uh, and send it to us so we've only made a few of them um, the way it comes it does not have the little metal pin so you would need to remove it from a, a fin or stick something in there so you have that pin piece to hold it in place and we found that the hole here needs to be widened so again this is a prototype uh, you probably have to drill that through a little bit unless you have a really skinny uh, bolt on your uh, center fin bolt there uh, but it will work to return a reverse fin into a standard fin box, so you could mount it uh, if you have that type of fin box there. But again, we're working on some updates to this one, hopefully coming out soon. So that is the, the four uh, models that, that we have available. And in the uh, stronger material, we only have the, the three that we've kind of worked through a little bit more is the, the standard uh, slide-in adapter here. It comes with your pin. Again, the logo side is the side you want to slide the pin into. Uh, it will fit both sides, but it comes out a little bit easier on that side. The kayak or canoe adapter, again, with that slightly curved bottom there. Uh, this will work for just about any board, paddle board, or canoe or kayak, uh, but doesn't hold in quite as well because you just have the straps that are securing it. It's not secured into the bottom of the board. And then we have our flip lock adapter uh, that has the, <clears throat> the ABS uh, plastic. Those are the three that come in the stronger materials. Uh, a little bit heavier, much denser and stronger. You can just feel it. We started printing them in white because uh, we had we had some before that were in black and saw that the black color in the sun uh, gets a little hot and soft and, and um, had a customer out in Texas that left their fin on top of their board on their car, which you should you know hopefully never leave your board on top of your car in the sun. But it got so hot that the weight of the fin just kind of slumped it over a little bit and stretched out the PLA plastic. So cases like that, that's where you're going to want to go with the stronger ABS. Uh, but if you're really on a tight budget, you can always do the, the 3D printed. So that's the, the three adapters uh, that we have in the ABS and then the four that we have in the PLA. Any questions, please just reach out to us. You can always send us a picture of your fin or fin box and we can help advise uh, which one we think you need based on the images. And again, this is also a great option right here is to get one of these and glue it right to your inflatable on the bottom so you have another option for a fin box. Only drawback is uh, these are a little bit more expensive. 
uh, you'll have to get some uh, some cement, contact cement or vinyl cement. We recommend HH66. We have a link to that on our website where you can get some, but it's a good vinyl adhesive. Uh, so once you put that in, it's going to be a permanent thing. That's going to be on your board. And then sometimes when you're folding up the board, you're going to have another stiff point, uh, just like your other fin box where it's difficult to fold. So some of the drawbacks of using one of these, but they're they're great. Otherwise, a lot, a lot more simple. Uh, just have a few cons. And that's all we've got on the adapters.